Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Forza Horizon 4 early preview gameplay. Except, this isn't exactly early preview gameplay. You see, as you may have known if you've been keeping up to uh, up to date with the channel, uh, the event that I went to to capture the Forza Horizon 4 footage, it was all grayscale and washed out and I had to colour correct it myself. There was a slight issue on the capture card side of things, nothing to do with the game, just an issue that happened and I had to try and uh, deal with it. Uh, so what I thought I'd do today instead is literally just record the gameplay demo. It's it's effectively the same. Uh, I was mainly going to show the off-road and street races anyway, so I thought I'd just go back and play it on the demo and upload it as part of the preview footage. So you're not really missing out on much, except for the fact that I went for the Ford Escort Cozy this time round. I, uh, I love this car. love this car so much. The other options that you get are a Subaru Impreza WRX, something or other, and the, um, the Lancia 037 Stradale, which in my opinion is probably one of the best rally cars ever made. I love the story about how it uh, defeated the Audi Quattro on the Grand Tour. So, talking of gameplay, this is not colour corrected. This is the game as it is. I haven't fiddled with absolutely anything whatsoever. I've literally just cut out all the bits where I fiddled about with a photo mode trying to get a thumbnail. So, as we can see here, this is the first rally race that you get to do. It's quite a nice track, this. I quite like some of the tracks and the designs, of course, of the, um, of the circuits in this game. I like the flags now. I didn't... No, I wasn't too sure of them at first, but I like the whole straight, square. It's Everything in this game is very crisp and sharp. The design for this is um, is very different in terms of um, in terms of in terms of style. Uh, Horizon 3, obviously, you had your car at the end of the screen when you finished the race, and you could see all your credits and stuff. In this, of course, you have that in-game like menu thing, very much like Dirt 2 and Dirt 3, and I really like that. I know some people I've read online aren't the biggest fans of it, but um, I thought it was quite a nice little thing. I like the big board in the background where you get to see your massive face on it. People on Twitter have been showing that, uh, well, not taking advantage, but people's gamer picks are usually something quite funny, such as the likes of, I don't know, Kim Jong-un or Donald Trump. So when you win a race, you just get a massive billboard with your gamer tag picture on it. And if your gamer tag picture is of Kim Jong-un or Donald Trump, yeah, you get a massive picture of that person on the billboard in the background. It's quite funny. So that'll be, um, that'll be funny to see the amount of online lobbies that you go into and you'll probably see some silly picture at the end screen. Thought I'd jump into some first person as well for the demo. Sorry, for the preview gameplay. Um, not many people I don't think have recorded in first person, although I'm pretty sure a lot of people do drive in first person on, on the Horizon games. I've really gotten acquainted to driving in third person, but I'm curious as to what you guys do. Um, I know Ian, the guy that we, uh, the guy from Mine and Drive who we do the Grand Tour footage and stuff with, he drives, he finds it easier to drive in first person, but uh, me and Sam, I don't know. I prefer driving in third person, but I really do enjoy first person as well. So let me know what you guys prefer, first or third person, um, in, uh, in Forza Horizon 4. So we're coming up now to the last few corners. Past the national speed limit sign there. It's so nice driving around in Britain. I've really not, I'm still not used to it just yet. It's uh, it's quite weird driving around in farmers' fields and uh, and just anxiously waiting to uh, to get shot by a mad farmer. So there we go. Finish the race. First place hey, as you I'm do. Hearing good things about you. Oh, sorry. My name's Jay. I might have something that'll interest you. There's a street race meetup, and I think you should check it out. See you there. So once you complete your first off-road rally kind of race, this is where you unlock the next uh, discipline, dare I say, the next kind of faction. This is where you unlock street racing, and this is something that I uh, I wish there was more of in Horizon 3. There was a few of, there was a few events here and there, and that's how you unlock, I believe, the Merchilago, and um, I think it was the Mazda RX-7, I think, I'm not too sure. I know it was the version with a wide body or something like that. So this is me now driving to the Sun Race. The reason I've kept this in is because I tried to keep the skill chain going. I wanted to see how long I could get it to last for, uh, phrasing. Um, I wanted to see how good I could, uh, I could, you know, do in terms of keeping the chain alive. So I'm going pretty fast, trying to keep the chain alive by doing some drift here and there, near misses. And then, of course, you see the stunt windmill straight in front of you. It's not actually a stunt sign just yet in the game, but I thought, well, it's there. I may as well drive through it. So here we go, 170 miles an hour through a windmill and because it's not a stunt sign no slow motion so you just go crashing into a field of yellow flowers i don't know what this is i always see these in britain i just think it's a massive field of something i just know people with hay fever absolutely hate it so um <laughs> that's that that's my uh, cultural knowledge of uh, the british fields so last few skids last few drifts and power slides through this uh, small little housing area 
not not the best slide there, I'll be honest. And then uh, when we go across the line, it's not the best finished either. There we go, 360 and smash into a fence. I thought those cars were going to crash into me there. But um, yeah, I'll shut up now and just let you guys watch this cutscene. You ready? Ready? Let's do this! Oh, it's you! You made it! I'm Jay, by the way. Alex wouldn't shut up about you, you know. If you drive half as well as he says you can, these guys will love you. Oh, before we start, you've got to know this isn't strictly sanctioned by the festival. So don't mention this to Kira, all right? I gotta go. Work to do. See you around, though, yeah? These might not be official, but you keep coming to these meets. I'll make sure everyone at Horizon knows your name. Looking forward to seeing what you can do out there. Have fun now, yeah? So once that cutscene is all over, you are thrown straight into the street race. Now, I don't know how biased the AI is on this. When I raced uh, in the preview event, uh, I was racing against a huge selection of vehicles. I'm pretty sure I raced against the Iron Giant truck, the Volvo thing, when I, uh, when I raced around it. Uh, in this, however, you're racing against supercars and uh, hypercars, I guess. And you've got the, the, the Ford Fiesta rally cross thing, whatever you want to call it there as well. So I don't know what they've done. They've changed the cars that you race with. Also, I'm pretty sure this Escort could not compete with half the cars that you are racing against. So I don't know if the AI is turned or tuned down so it's a bit more competitive for you to race with. But um, yeah, interesting how they've changed the, uh, the AI cars. I also really like how they changed the, uh, the checkpoints to flares in street races. I think that's really cool. This dusk setting for street races is very very I want to say naughty but it sounds wrong it's very against the uh, against the rulebook kind of thing you can kind of see that they've tried to make it a little bit uh, taboo they, it's not part of the main series which of course the guy says I've forgotten his name but there are a lot of characters in this game that actually do speak to you now uh, I do feel like their voice acting has uh, has become a bit more of a key feature there's a lot more talking going on between different characters I believe in the last one it was literally just a voiceover between Anna and, uh, and Kira, but now you've got James, John, Jesus, all these characters that you can speak to in, um, in the game. I don't think Jesus is actually one before people say, oh my god, Jesus confirmed in uh, <laughs> Horizon 4, as I do some awful kind of uh, farm carna driving around there. That's a video I've obviously got planned for the future, but uh, we'll save that for a later date. So we're coming up now to the finishing line. I'm probably going to wrap up the video here, guys. Thank you very much for watching all this preview footage. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined the channel as of recently. As I've said before, we've still got loads and loads of Forza Horizon 4 goodness coming to this channel. I'm very excited to show you all. So if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like down below, guys. It would really help me out a lot. And of course, until the next video, I'll see you all then. Adios.